what's up been a minute let's get into it all right so let's talk about medusa i was shopping off my niece my god niece and she brought up medusa and she was like did you know i was like medusa's evil baby no and she was like did you know that she was sexually assaulted she was you know what i mean and i was like no i didn't know that so today dua lipa i saw a short that dua lipa had collabed with versace and I love the collab. Like, I love some of their items. But you already know, that crap is way overpriced. And who got money like that? I don't. Not yet, anyway. Mm -mm. But I was looking, you know, Versace has the Medusa symbol. So I watched one video. <laughs> I Googled it, right? And it said she was taken advantage of. And, you know. And then the, I watched one video on YouTube. And it uh, basically said medusa had god parents and her sisters were gods and she was a more she was a human right and medusa looked up to athena and athena was actually jealous of medusa but um medusa was just uh so beautiful so all the men wanted her and flocks behind her you're back i had to cut a part out can't say certain words on youtube but poseidon laid his eyes on her now there are two theories in this video that i watched which i will have it right here on the screen so you guys can check it out there are a few theories he said that one of them was medusa willingly gave herself to poseidon and the other one which is what he went with was the most common one i think he said was she was sexually assaulted so Poseidon saw her and got her, captured her, or lured her in, however he did it. And he took advantage of her and sexually assaulted her. And Medusa literally went to Athena and told her what happened. And Athena, because again, Athena was jealous of Medusa because the men loved her. That's who they flocked to. And so Athena was like you know what? I'm banishing you from here. And guess what? I'm going to curse you too. Right? And so she gave her the snake hair and she made her not, res she made her um, ugly and men really didn't care. And, you know, she gave her eyes. So when people look at her, she can turn them into stone. And so Medusa suffered for a while. Nobody had her back. She was the victim and the person who attacks her um, and the person she looked up to, her attacker kept living how he was living. And then her, the person she looked up to uh, left her high and dry. And she became this bitter person because she was very devastated and sad and like nothing, nobody helped her get better. She just had to face the fact. So she accepted what her monstrous look was and she became evil and she was murdered of course and then they ended up but her powers were still there in her eyes if you look at her you can turn into stone and so she ended up actually saving a lot of lives she tortured people but she also saved people but the moral of the story was it's so sad how sweet and innocent a person can be and how when you look up to people, you think they have your best interest at heart and they got your back, especially when someone does wrong by you. But most of the time, people that you look up to are just not great people and they will step all over you. See, people want you to follow them, but people don't want you to become better than them. And people don't want you to bother them. They want you to support everything that they do, but please don't talk to them. Cause you're not on their level and they're gonna treat you as if you are the scum of the earth but they want you to follow you you know follow them and so basically you know she lived a very miserable sad life she was a sweet innocent soul who got taken advantage of and nobody came to save her right she didn't know how to save herself and nobody came to help her and guide her through her trauma and you know so she died in her trauma and that beautiful soul was gone and in life the people that you think are so amazing turn out to be the worst people ever 
and you have to be careful because you don't always get a second chance to take back what somebody took from you what somebody um taking advantage of you or a mistake that you made you don't always get a, a second chance and medusa didn't get that chance her life was over that incident happened and it ruined her entire life some people have incidents happen and it ruined a moment in time but eventually they get better and they become who they want to be but for some people they end up like medusa and that one traumatic incident changes everything about you and you suffer every day until you die. So I was that kid who believed in conspiracy theories. And over time, of course, the video quality and content when it comes to evidence, audio, and visuals have gotten so much better. And what I'm realizing is this world is so much more evil. So much more evil that's prominent than good. I pray I'm using these words right because they just coming to me and I'm just <laughs> so I pray I'm using them right. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, you know. And so I just it's so sad to me that people follow these famous people as if they are gods or something, and they're not. They're just human beings. And most of the time they um they're disgusting human beings. They're into some pretty dark, weird, negative things. And guess what? They also, most of the time, aren't the nicest people that they portray to be. And so, that's what Other I learned from human beings. beings. Right? Or gods. No, scratch that. And it's one, for me, it's one God. That's it. In the, in the sky. So, don't be worshipping other people. <clears throat> and two, never... Never say never, but never put other people above you to the point where you suffer. Don't ever do that. And so what you can learn is from Medusa is that she looked up to these people. She worshipped the ground that they walked on. And what did they do when she was in trouble and need? They kicked her to the side and they tossed her out. So stop. This is your wake up sign. If you've been watching this, if you've made it this far, Stop giving people who treat you like trash your energy, your time, and your spirit because everybody don't deserve it and you don't always get a second chance to make it right, to get your life right. Some things happen to you and it can ruin your life forever like Medusa or some things happen to you and you can you go through a period of sadness and angriness and all of that but eventually there's another period where you actually can be the person you want to be is either option one or two you either die in misery or you rise above it and everybody isn't physically or mentally capable of rising and becoming they usually most of the time sink and die in it and it's unfortunate because it's so sad to see that as I have grown, it's like, it's so evilness is worshipped and praised. And people really do not fight for you or defend you in the way that they should. Also, most of the time people create, like they get upset and they have a movement that they fight for just for five minutes later after the smoke then cleared to continue to support a person or these businesses who are corrupt and disgusting and who actually mean you no well. Your spirit and your peace is something to be protected. And if you don't protect it, somebody else will try to come and either guide you the right way or guide you the wrong way. And you have to be strong enough to know what energies deserve to be around you. Um, so something else I wanted to talk about was, like I said earlier, I don't like being around people. Well, actually, I don't mind being around people. I just don't like being around crowds, big crowds of people. And when I was younger, I didn't care. Like, I'm at a carnival, right? And I'm in the parking lot right now. I didn't care about being, like around people i didn't care who was there 
excuse me, as long as T was there and I could have fun, you know, I was down. But I'm older now and I honestly don't care to be around none of these people. When I do stuff, I like to do it privately with me and whoever I'm with. That's it. I don't need a whole crowd of people. I just don't. And so, you know, that's one thing about having kids. Like, I don't want children. I don't want children. I don't want children ever. Because when you have a kid, you can't, you can't, you can't isolate your kid if you want to. But that's not right to your child. They don't deserve that. You know what I'm saying? And you have to sacrifice so much of you. That is crazy. If you are actually dedicated to being a great parent. And it's so much more than having a child and having money. Of course you need money, but you also need the mindset. You also need the stability. You also need the support. And I would hope you would also need your partner. Children are precious and it's so sad to see so much happening to them. And it's so sad to see so many people who want to have children from a sperm bank. Or, you know what I'm saying? Or just have kids just to say, I got a kid. Like for all the wrong reasons. It's just so heartbreaking to me because you have a lot of children who grow up in, in such agony. And it's like, if you are going to be a selfish person, I don't understand why you continue to have a child, um, to have a kid, a child, or continue to have children. And you know, you're not going to give your all to this child or your children. You just got them and you just having them just to be having them. And it's just unfortunate. And you can't save the world. You really can't. Because getting emotionally tied to everything and everybody and every issue. Like, I don't know how you'll get up in that. I don't even know how you get out the bed. Because it'll have you just in, um, upset or crying all the time. Like, and that's no way to live. So all you can do is pray and keep going and do what you can do when you can do it and keep going it's all you can do you know <sighs> um what else i want to talk to you guys about i wanted this video to be under 10 minutes but we'll try to nothing over 20 though nothing over 20 not a minute over honestly if you're not working for yourself You gotta deal with so much. You have to deal with so much. And the last thing I wanna talk about is work. Like working in the workplace. And y'all, it's just crazy to me because through my past experience, it's just so much unprofessionalism. It's so much of people just having a job just to be having a job. And then so much of me personally, I, I feel like I'd be, I get isolated from a nice amount of people on the team. And it sucks because I've like, I've been respectful. I'm nothing but nice, but people will try to make you feel bad or isolate you or force you into doing things that you're not comfortable with. And because you don't do those things, they think you're judging them or, or something, you know, like that, or you better than them. And it's like, no, I accept you for who you are and I respect what you do, but what you're not going to do is get me to compromise my integrity of who I am to be your friend or whatever. No, I know who I am and I stand strong on that. And I'm not gonna let you or anything else waver who I am. I'm not going through my phase of finding myself and I've been there and done all that. So I protect my peace and my energy and you have to because people will try to drag you down with them. And don't allow that. Do not allow that. Do not allow people to change you for the worst. It is not worth it, ever. Know your self-worth. Know who you are. Period. 
And so on that note, I have a lot of tough things coming up for me. And I'm a little nervous. I'm not going to lie. I get nervous because I hate, hate, hate confrontation. And I have to practice, 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 you know, for certain scenarios because I have to calm down and not be like a nervous wreck. Because at the end of the day, I deserve respect and I deserve nothing but the best. And so having a voice and knowing how to fight battles properly, wisely, and knowing how to stand up for yourself properly and wisely, it comes in time. It comes in time and it can be scary, but you have to be smart. Like I said, you have to be wise about how you do things and how you move and you just got to do it. So I have a lot of things that I have coming up in my life that I just got to do it. And it's hard and I get nervous and everything, but I'm going to be where I want to be. All right, guys, so I'm going to close this video out. I got a phone call, so now I'm going to close this video out. But yes, guys, basically, it's like I know what I deserve. I'm going to get over my nerves and I'm going to make what I want happen. I got to do it wisely. I have to do it smart and I got to make sure that I have respect for myself and that when I'm dealing with other people, I take nothing but respect. And if it's disrespect and there is nothing like gonna, we're not gonna come to a respectable um, agreement or solution, then I know that it's my time to do this, time to walk, time to go. Because people will come in your life to set you up and set you back. And if you fall into the traps, you're gonna always prolong your success or you're never gonna get there. So, Got to put those big girl draws on or those big boy draws on or the men draws and the women draws. Like, get it, you know, pick, pick, pick yourself up, get it together, come back stronger. All right, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video because I have enjoyed making it for you guys. And I will see you guys in another video. Um, and what you can expect from my channel is nothing but greatness, period. So make sure to check out my shorts and um, yeah. See you later.